stop. Don't do that open house until you watch this video. I'm Frank Felico of the Felico Group, and on this week's segment of Thoughts from the Red Chair, I'm gonna share with you some of the reasons you may want to reconsider your open house strategy. Not all agents are guilty of this, but many poor performing agents conducting open houses are simply there to bait buyers with no real intent of selling your place. Your house basically becomes a showroom for their business. Essentially, a bunch of strangers walking through your home so they can collect names for their database. Not to mention, if people are not screened properly, you won't know who's a nosy neighbor versus a thief casing his next victim. Most top tier agents will tell you open houses account for less than 5% of the actual sale of the home. And because of that fact, they don't often do the open house themselves. In fact, they pass it on to a B-level realtor or newbie who certainly doesn't know how to screen properly. But Frank, what if I'm a real buyer interested in an open house? Well, you also need to be careful. Buyers are often not aware of what their body language is telling the world. And if you're genuinely interested in a place, you may be inadvertently providing the seller's agent key intel on what direction to take the negotiation in. A family comes in, and either a kid or a parent lets something slip that tells me how hot they are for the property. In poker, it's called a tell, and buyers have them. So whether you're buying or selling, open houses require some thought. More tips next week. Next week. Next week. Bro, I'ma give it to you with no trivia.